Uh, so hello guys and in today's video we will learn how to use project libre and for this i have already installed that and let's just open it by going to the start and typing project libre open this and once you do open it you will get this tip of the day you can look at it and if you don't want to look at it you can just click this and it won't just repeat the next time you open it so for this now we'll just close it and create a new project uh, so for a new project uh, we can start with let's start a trial project call it o1 manager let's make it adam and the start date let's just make it today and make it a forward schedule just for a trial you can add some notes here like in this case i'm just using it for a trial project with that you can just press the ok and here you have got this trial project in the project libre format and you can just click this maximize screen option once you do that you will realize that you have got on one side the activities and on the other side you've got the Gantt chart how will you start just I will just name the project or for example starting we'll just name it trial project go on and when i press enter or press my, my mouse anywhere else what i will do is i'll just need this i will just get this duration with a question mark and the start and somehow other parts are missing so i'll just click this and extend this here and in here i've got this one column and it will just show the status i will use it later then there's the name the duration start finish predecessors and you can add more columns and we will see that uh, in some other videos too for now we'll just have a beginners session in this video so you have this file section here or the menus and here we have the file the print and the project then you can go to the taskbar you have views you have clipboard and then you have the tasks where you can vary the information about a specific task and then the resources views clipboards and resource and then the views so moving back to the file and we'll start with the calendar so uh what is the calendar that we want to use for this project so we will just select a standard calendar for now we can make it to a 24 hours or you can also make a standard calendar but with a night shift <coughs> excuse me so we'll go with the standard calendar and press ok with that i have this and i will just some activities i will just put some activities there for example in the first activity let's say i will just uh, start with build a concept this will be my first activity of the task second would be after i build a concept i will just uh, try and uh, develop a working call it a prototype and when i develop prototype i will just test the prototype and once the testing is done i'll just uh count of just end the project so very simple in these four tasks i have just made a simple <clears throat> i just made a simple change i've just made simple a project which has these four activities but how do i link these activities and how do i place durations in these uh projects and these activities or in these tasks so for that you can just come click here on the left side and you can either re drag that click click or you can just click here and then go to shift and press the down arrow and you will select all these tasks so first you will do is you'll go to the task option on in here and just press indent what that does is it links all these tasks 
to the primary name of the project which is the trial project and with that uh, we can also link these activities because we know that when one, when one activity ends another activity begins so we can call it the link and you can see here there is a link command where one activity ends the and the other begins and so on and so forth and you can also see that there is a gap here but why is that, that gap here it's because there is a Saturday and Sunday uh, in these activities and that is uh, non-working day as per the standard calendar so that is why the activity even though it ends and next activity starts in one day it still has that uh, Saturday and Sunday in there so just give some days to this uh, uh, this task just call it five days here and for the prototype let's say I take 15 days for the testing of the prototype I will just take five days and for the project 10 let's just uh, it's just an end date so if I can make it into a milestone by making a zero day just like this now this just converts itself into a milestone so uh, this is how you develop a project and you can see that these are all red and uh, you can also drag these here just because you have got, got an option here so you can also drag it here and uh, make changes on the number of days using these uh, right and left arrow options uh, if you want to add some other columns for that uh, you can right click let's say here and press insert column and here if I can just add a progress section that would be really good just to show you how this works and that is the person complete so let's say I open this document or I'll open this project libre file uh, two days or three days from now and for that part the concept part it's almost 10% complete so I can press it here or let's say it's 50% complete so you can see that now that there is a there is a black bar chart that is entered into this task uh, the main bar chart and that's how you can monitor the progress that you have achieved in this uh, project libre so this was a very simple session and if you want more on this project libre and go if you want me to go deep into uh, the sections like the resources where if I can go and uh, assign some resources here uh, we'll do that too and uh, if it would be better if you just uh, give me comments and I can go ahead and make those for you so thank you and we'll see you next time